College is something that we are bred to attend from the tender age of a newborn. Right out of the gate, we are taught to speak, communicate, and recognize colors, and that learning just continues from there. This is made so we go to college to get a good job. Well, only 13% of graduates from college get jobs after they get their diplomas. That's startling. Oftentimes, the issue is what we do before graduation and immediately after that stops us. In this speech, I'm going to be talking about what we lack that stops us from getting a job post-grad, what we can do to change that, and alternatives to the traditional job. We don't prepare enough. They don't think there's anything to it. We are told on a regular basis that getting a college degree will ensure the fact that we are going to get a good job. We aren't told how much we have to really prepare to get a job. We underestimate the time it takes to get a job. As I just stated, we are just told that going to college will get us a good job and that leads us to believe that it will be more of a quick process. We don't know what we want to do. We can go through four years of school so we can do what we think we want to do. But in the end, we find out that maybe what we thought we wanted to do, we don't really want that. We may have issues knowing what to do to get a good job out of school, but there are things that we can do to help ourselves out in the long run. We have to get out of our heads and hit the pavement. College grads often go through a funk after graduation. They get in their heads. Don't do that. That's the main issue. Start a LinkedIn account. This is something that we should do as early as possible in order to get our name out there. A lot of HR representatives have LinkedIn accounts and you can get company websites and you can get a better look at things. It's a good thing that you can put on your application and your resume. Start blogging a lot of people. People underestimate the power of the blog. A blog will get your name out there as well and it will also give you something that can actually help you land a job. Some jobs require writing samples or samples of your online presence. This will help with that. Start early and apply often. After college, put in about 50 to 100 applications a week in order to get a call back. Throw a wide net. On average, you get one response every 10 applications that you send out. The more you apply, the more you are likely to get a call back from someone. Get an internship as early as possible and explore your interests. An internship can give you an ideal of what you are getting into, and it can also add work experience to your resume and companies, especially ones hiring entry level, like to see more experience. But those are just some ideals. But sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you don't get a lot of luck. There are some alternatives while you are waiting. Pick an interest, explore it, and see what you can do. Sometimes an interest can turn into a business ideal. Every interest also lets you explore your strengths and weaknesses. You can see what you are good at and what you aren't really that great at. Start your own business. Be your own boss. Direct selling companies and Etsy may be your best friends. They give you money while you are also exploring your own skills and your own thing that you like to do. Don't be hard on yourself. The job hunt is hard and these days jobs are few and far between. And the good ones are usually the ones that get taken first and hiring last. Don't give up and don't blame yourself. They always say that the world is your oyster. Let's believe that and explore ourselves. I have told you about all the roadblocks we put in our own ways and how to fix them. I have also told you some alternatives to the usual job. Don't be afraid. It will all work out. Success happens right outside our comfort zone.